Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Fain Gold to place a 3D insert into your footage. To start, put your footage into a new composition and then go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Fain. After applying Fain to your footage, click on Add Track. Now let me just scroll through and find the right place where I want to track this. So I'm gonna use the rectangle region tracker to select this. Okay, and I'm going to set the area type to static area. If you want to see more on how to use Fain, then please check out my other tutorial. There's a link in the description. But right now I'm just gonna click on start and I'm gonna wait for this to finish. So after the tracking is complete, we need to take this plane and convert it to a base plane. Now you can use these tools to adjust it. I only need to adjust mine a little bit. that looks fine and once you're done adjusting your plane click on export and as you can see we have three options we can just make a null object we can create an insert or we can create a null object with an insert so we're going to use that and as you can see we have three new layers we have a null a solid and a camera so you can turn off the Fane placeholder and the solid. The next thing that we need to do is click on File, Export, um, Maxon Cinema 4D Exporter. And we're going to save a new Cinema 4D file. After you've done that, press Ctrl I and import it. And then you need to place it inside of the composition. So now you can see this grid. The next step is to click on edit and then edit original and make sure that you have the Cinema 4D file selected. Now this will open Cinema 4D Lite which is included um, with After Effects and this is our scene. So basically you can do anything you want inside of Cinema 4D. I'm not going to get into that. For this tutorial I'm going to use a default model that comes with Cinema 4D Lite. So I'm gonna use the shiny spheres. So I'm just going to rescale this. And after you're done with all the work in Cinema 4D just click on file and then save. Now once I go back into After Effects you can see this 3D model is now visible. Obviously, you need to do some compositing and you need to add shadows in Cinema 4D for this to look better. But once you're done, if you're going to use the Cineware, just set the renderer to standard final. And now this is ready for rendering. That's it for this tutorial. For more, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.